Hey guys, I'm Nick from Micro Center. With processors, there are a lot of features and terms that go with the processors that can be kind of confusing. One of those terms is called hyperthreading. Hyperthreading is one of Intel's architectural designs that allows each physical core to have an extra virtual core attached to it. Uh, the i3 and the i7 are notorious for having that hyperthreading architecture design. What we're going to show you today is how to tell if your processor is hyperthreaded and just kind of some examples of what that means to you and how it benefits you. So let's get started. Alright, so we're at my Windows 8 desktop here. You see I've gotten quite a few windows open. I'm going to go through and explain all of these. For hyperthreading, to tell if your process is hyperthreaded, we're going to open up the device manager first. To get the device manager in Windows 8, Windows key on your keyboard, hit X, and click on device manager. That'll bring you to this window here. I go down to processors, hit the triangle next to that, and it lists my processors here. Now, I don't actually have four processors in this computer. There's actually just one processor, and each one of these listings is a core or a new thread for the processor. So I have the i5-3210 mobile processor from Intel. Now, this shows that I have four cores, but this doesn't explain if it's hyperthreaded or not. So I can go over to actually the task manager in Windows 8, and to get to the task manager, you can right-click on the task bar at the bottom, and just click on task manager click on the performance tab and then down at the bottom right section here you can get all the information about your processor. You can see the current speed of the processor which is 2.78. This processor has a small turbo. You can see its base clock speed is 2.5. It's got two cores and four logical processors. That means that it's hyper-threaded which adds a little extra performance to my processor here. Now I'm going to show you another uh, screenshot of a different device manager from another computer and you can see there's a, just a few more processors listed here. This is Intel's i7-3960X CPU. This is one of their much higher end processors. It's a six core processor, but there are 12 listed here. So that means that it's, it's a six core processor. And then it also has hyperthreading, which adds another logical core to each physical core of the processor, which really helps increase the performance. Um, this is only for Intel processors. Unfortunately, AMD does not have hyperthreading. They have different architecture designs and things like that. That's pretty much how you can tell if your processor is hyperthreaded. One last way you can check is you can actually go to Intel's website, search for your processor. I searched for my 3210, and I can see pretty much all the information I want to about it. It even says here it's got two cores and four threads. It shows there's a basically a turbo boost for it and things like that, the amount of cache, max RAM the processor supports, things like that. And that's just at Intel's website. I just searched for my processor and came here. Um, so that's pretty much just a basic overview of hyperthreading for processors. Uh, if you have more other questions, feel free to contact us at microcentertech.com.